It's been an up and down session in the precious metals market with gold led this way and that by data uh, predominantly from the US making nonsense of the view that uh, gold is shifting away uh, from influence uh, on US factors. First, uh, the metal started about $1,312 per ounce, but slowly drifted uh, lower uh, during the session to about $1,304 per ounce before rallying higher when US CPI came in uh, below expectations. Then, uh, not too long after that, the Richmond Manufacturing in Index as well as uh, home prices in the US uh, came in um, above expectations and this sent gold lower again, back to about $1,304 per ounce. The session low so far at about $1,302 per ounce and the metal is held above this psychological level so far. The rest of the precious metals have primarily followed along. Um, platinum still, still sitting about $1,480 per ounce. News from South Africa yesterday that uh, the top producer Anglo America Platinum will sell some of its uh, platinum mines going forward. Um, there was, of course, a lot of strike action, uh, and some of these deep pit mines uh, are very labor intensive, and this is something that Anglo America Platinum would want to move away from. Later in the week, the um, precious metals complex is looking forward to Chinese import data of gold from Hong Kong. This will be very closely watched. China, of course, the biggest consumer of the precious metal at the moment. This is Eddie van der Waal signing off from the floor of the LME for the Bullion Desk.